Hi everyone, Flick here from Sleek and today I am going to give you a split stretch workout. I have been a professional dancer for 20 years and doing the splits is a necessity for my job. However, it's something that everybody always desires to do and they ask me how can I do it, how can I get down into the splits? Well, I'm going to give you a secret extra tip in this video that's really going to help. So in our strip, split stretch workout, easy for me to say, we're going to start by putting our mat down, making sure that we're a little bit warm before we even begin doing this stretching. So three to five minutes of cardio, or perhaps you finish an entire workout. Make that body, get it warm before you even attempt this. And then we're going to come up to a kneeling position. So follow along with me, and like I say, you're going to get down into the splits. One leg forward, the chosen leg you're going to start with. I'm starting on my right leg. I'm giving myself a good knee to ankle alignment. Draw the tummy in, lift up out of those hips. Crucially, it's our arms that's going to help us, but let's start with the lower body. Hands come to the floor, you rock forward. Gently lining yourself, your knee again stays over your ankle. You're lining yourself up. Use your mat if you want to, and use 50, 50% 50 weight in each hand. Now draw your tummy in, and let's start by rocking back. First time, just keep your toes down to the floor. We're going to try and pull up that kneecap. Getting a gentle stretch now into the hamstring particularly. Lift up and lengthen, try and give me a straight back as much as you can. Draw your tummy in, and now rock forward. This time we're going to start to increase the stretch, the stretch and the flexibility along our back leg. So up into our hip flexor, top of the thigh. So these are the two areas that we need. If you want to get down into the splits, it's not simply about sliding down and hoping for the best. Draw your tummy in. Let's go. This time as you walk back, I want you to flex your toes. Draw them back up towards your shin. We're working here into the calf, lengthening it out. Back of the knee starts to pull up. Don't lock that knee, just feel like the kneecap is gently lifting. Starting to stretch deeper into the hamstring, we're rocking forward and now we're coming back into that back leg. Length a little bit further and this time maybe you can tuck your toes, maybe lift the back leg up. If that's too much, leave your knee down and instead maybe you can bring your hands up. As you do, you'll get a deeper stretch coming up now through to the psoas as well. Hands come back down, we're going to repeat all of that three to five times you want to do this. Flexing, getting a little bit deeper each time. Don't push into pain, no sharp, acute pain ever. Always back off, options. Lift the back knee, or leave the back knee down, lift the hands up. By now, as you're gonna increase your flexibility each time you do this, every day, maybe you wanna put two of those moves together. So as I rock forward here, this time I tuck my toes under, find demi point, lift up, and maybe just breathe in, breathe out, bring the hands up. Draw your tummy in, hands to the floor. Knee drops down, toes release, press back. Draw your toes up now. Can you start to imagine you're gonna lie your whole body down along your leg? One day your nose will be past your big toe. Equal weight still, 50-50 in the hands. Rock yourselves forward. Let's just do this one more time. Really working to get length and warmth into the two lower body areas that we need for our splits then let's talk about that secret upper body that's gonna help you. Options, remember, you don't have to lift that back leg. You can start to straighten through the elbows, increasing that range of movement into that back leg. Once we've done this three to five times, I want you to come to the middle, in between those two areas. So we're back into a sort of a kneeling position now. Start to creep your toes forward, but as you do, I want you to press your weight into your palms. Separate your fingers if that feels good. Extend that leg fully. See how that feels. Now do the same thing with your back leg. Here's the tip. All my weight is in my arms. I'm not putting anything into my lower body in the minute. I'm going to start to lift my kneecap off and I'm in the start of a split. Each day as we practice, we breathe in and as you breathe out, now bend your elbows and allow your arms to ease you down to the floor. When you get to that point where you don't want to do any more, this is where you rock off to the side Draw your back leg to your front leg, give those legs a wiggle. As you start to get more and more flexibility, as you start to get more range of movement, more, more range of motion, you start to think about the alignment of your split. So from here, as we're now getting closer to the floor, what's happening to your back leg? If your back leg is opening and this hip is coming towards me, we've come out, we've cheated our body out of a split. We want to bring that back hip forward. We've opened up along that hip flexor. 
and we want to lift it up. So it's almost like a little mini combre, a high release we call it, giving you that lifting up drawing feeling. You're in your split, again, you don't want to rock off the leg, you don't want to open this hip. Stay with this good, correct technique and alignment. We're all about that at sleep. That's what's going to give you a dancer's body. If you're not there, again, what do you use? Your arms. Your secret weapon is your arms. Use yourself, lift yourself back up, stay in that good alignment. And if this is where you stay, this is where you stay. Trust me, practicing this, you will eventually get deeper and deeper and deeper and down into that split. Once you finish it, remember, what you do on one side, you have to do on the other. So balance your body out. Taking the other leg forward, you'll repeat all of that. Remember, start small. So just gentle movements to start. You don't even want to flex your toes. And then build up again. It might feel different on one side to the other. It most likely will. That's perfectly normal. We're always trying to create balance in the body. Remember again, you have options as to how deep you go. You listen to your body. And if you keep practicing this every day, I challenge you, you'll see a huge difference in as little as a week. Within six weeks, depending on how far off the floor you are, it's possible to be down into that split. Think about that technique and use your secret weapon, your arms. Don't just slide those legs apart. Take everything slowly and everything carefully. Use your breath and listen to your body, no sharp pain. If that's where you stop, that's where you stop, and then you reset your body, you go again the next day, you listen to it, you see how it feels. Coming out of it, rock to one side, bring the legs together, and always give them a little shake and a little bit of a release. My leg warmers have fallen down as I've done that. So ladies, so gents, everybody, if you have liked this video, simply click like and then subscribe to our channel. And we've got loads more videos and loads more workouts on our site as well, sleeptechnique.com. So, hope to see you on my next video. Happy practicing and have a good day.